Hey there gang, we're doing a, a quick uh, multiplayer, multiplayer? Uh, yes, multiplayer game of uh, the Redstorm uh, Flashpoint campaigns. And the idea here is that uh, we play by email, so I record my turn and then that is uh, sent off to the, uh, my opponent Vance and then Vance will play his and send it back. Which works well with how this uh, game, the game mechanic works here. Uh, over on, uh, well I'll show you in a minute, but uh, the idea, so this scenario here is the Germans are uh, facing off against the Soviets. You can see the Soviets over here on the right hand side and then just a little further up there are some Soviet units up the top there. And my uh, job is to protect these bridges here across the Vesa uh, such that uh, we let as few possible uh, go. Um, now, uh, not a whole lot of units. There's a uh, Panzer Battalion, the 4th Panzer Battalion from the 4th Panzer Brigade. I think that's 7th Panzer Division actually. And then there's a couple of uh, other um, infantry units here that I've got situated one there, one there, one there. Uh, this chap, his mission is to blow this bridge and I've taken a risk and put this headquarters element up here to blow this bridge to try and block any uh, bomb rushing by the Soviets across this line and then down uh, into Hamlin uh, this way. Uh, obviously, I, as, as I suspected, there would be a fairly strong force coming this way into these minefields. They'll try and cross over these two bridges here. That's the fastest route. But there's also uh, another route if they come south across this bridge here, uh, then they can come in from the southern area and then up to uh, the township this way. So I have put one uh, platoon, uh, four tanks, uh, the Leopard 1As, here as a screening force. I'm going to pop them there. Not sure that I'll keep them there very long. These two pieces here are in a reinforced position, so they're in pretty strong situations and they've got really nice. Uh, let me show you if I can. Uh, what are we doing here? Why can't I see? Oh, that's right, because I'm in playthrough mode and I've paused it. Uh, I was going to show you the lines of sight. Th these two forces here have nice overlapping lines of sight. And uh, these guys are uh, probably not going to be do a whole lot of firing because they're uh, trying to get that bridge blown. But this formation here, four leopards here, uh, can shoot down into this area and provide some overwatch. Hopefully that will be enough for them to do their 30 minute exercise here. Uh, and we'll see what happens from there. Now there's a 17 minute uh, turn cycle going on at the moment of which uh, just a few seconds have elapsed and I thought I'd just let it run through and then I'll uh, I'll be quiet. Let me actually make sure that the sound effects are all off. Otherwise you'll hear this the whole time. And it looks like, here we go, it looks like the uh, Any tank, these anti tank units right here have uh, jumped straight into the minefield, and uh, the same is going to happen here. Let's see what happens. I may have put too much force back, uh, set back now, I'm thinking. We'll see. These guys have switched from bridge blowing by the looks of it to uh Hmm. Okay. I'm hoping they're gonna blow their bridge. <coughs> Otherwise we're in trouble. <laughs> you can see the Soviets pouring it on here, coming straight for the main road, they wanna barrel on down. My guys have run away already. What is up with that? Look at that. Now, see that? No, that's really frustrating. I wonder why that happened. All right, so I've saved that file and we're going to send that off. And that will be the current situation with the Soviets pouring across the minefields here. And uh, for some reason, these chaps have decided to abandon their perfectly good, improved position. Oh uh, boy. All right, later.